Hi guys, and here's a tutorial for Autodesk Fusion 360. Um, I use this a lot for uh, prototyping, designing, um, uh, making stuff that I'm going to be using for 3D printing. Um, so those of you who are new to 3D software, it could might seem a little bit daunting. Those of you who never used the CAD program before, it might also seem a little bit difficult. But um, actually, once you get into it, it's, it's really pretty sh um, simple to use. Um, I find it a lot easier to use, say, than Blender or SketchUp, for example. But it's really got a different purpose. This is more for mechanical industrial design stuff um, rather than organic um, modeling. So everything basically revolves around the uh, design screen. Um, you can pop up here. Uh, this way you can save your uh, various projects that you've got ongoing. Um, here you can choose which mode we're in. So we're going to be spending a lot of our time, at least initially, in the design mode. And then here um, we've got nothing yet, but we will do soon as we start to uh, make sketches. Um, so everything kind of revolves around sketches, 2D um, drawings, which you're then going to um, extrude or sweep out uh, into the shapes that you want them to be. So we'll start with something really simple to begin with. Uh, we'll start with a basic sketch. So when you choose to create a sketch, um, it's going to ask you which plane you want to work in. So this 3D viewport here, you've got the X, Y, and Z. So um, you could think of this as a, a top-down view, um, a front view, or a right-side view. Um, so to begin with, let's uh, just go with a top-down view. And this here is the origin point. So this is where everything is going to be referenced from. This is kind of our zero axis. Um, so if we go to a top uh, view there, like so. So here now we can begin to draw. Um, so if we want to make a basic shape, let's go for a um, square. You see here we can begin to draw somewhere on our screen. So we're going to start at the origin point, which is 0, 0. You can see we're snapping to that point here. Um, you can turn on and off snapping, etc., from um, these settings over here. Um, so we can have to snap or not, or we can have a, a grid at the background or not. We can choose to look at um, the sketch, and we can choose to see construction lines or not. So, uh, if we start at our origin point, you see you get a little pop-up that says place the first corner. So we'll place the first corner here at our zero, zero point there. And then we can drag out in different directions the, um, the square and you'll see that we get dimensions popping up there. So obviously if we want to make a um, perfect square, then both sides should be the same. If we want to make a rectangle, then the sides will be different. Um, you can eyeball it, um, but really, like I say, this is meant for technical um, drawing and industrial design. It's a good idea if you actually use dimensions, um, and you can type them in. So uh, we're set to millimeters here, so you can see we've got um, the numbers changing as we move this around. Let's make a uh, cube, which is 35 millimeters, and we hit the tab key by 35 millimeters. So now we've got a, a cube there and you'll see that those sizes are now locked in. The only thing we can do is choose the direction that we want it to be, um, but those sizes are locked in. So once we're done with that, we can hit enter. And you'll see there now we have our square, 35 by 35 millimeters. And if we just want to make a basic cube right now, we would go to finish sketch and when we can orbit around, these are our navigation tools down here, so we can pan, um, we can zoom, and uh, we can orbit like so. So you see our origin point of that sketch there in this corner, and now in our navigation tree here, you'll see that we have a sketch now available. So to turn this into a 3D uh, model, we're going to go, first of all, to the extrude tool, which you'll find up there. And now we've got a little arrow there. We can drag this out and turn it into a 3D block. Uh, these are called bodies in Fusion 360. So 
if we uh, we made it 35 by 35 so if we want to make a cube it would be also 35 high so again we can type in the distance that we wish to extrude this or you can drag it you can also type in the distance over here so 35 and we can choose whether we want to create a new body a new component intersect cut or join so in other tutorials we'll be looking at, at these different options for now we'll just stick with the default of a new body we can also choose the extent as well again we'll look at those in another tutorial but for now we'll just go to distance and the start would be the profile plane or we can offset from the plane um, which again we'll look at later so if we just leave all of those as our defaults we just worry about the distance that we want to actually extrude for now we can hit enter and now we have our cube here which is 35 millimeters by 35 millimeters and when we rotate around we're rotating around the origin point okay so there is our 3d cube now if we want to add a little bit more shape to this we can um, modify it uh, so we have a modify menu here we have something called fillet and uh, nice thing in fusion when you mouse over these things it actually brings up a little pop-up tooltip that helps you to understand exactly what that is so if we want to choose the fillet tool we can select an edge and we can input a radius so let's say 10 millimeters and now we have a fillet to that edge a fillet is basically a curve to that edge uh, now down here we have a little timeline that shows us uh, every event that we've done and we can actually drag and we can step back to different stages of our design so we can go back to the sketch we can go to the extrusion that we did and we can go to the fillet now if we don't like uh, what's happened there we can actually select that and we can delete and it will remove that particular thing that we just did it's a bit like a, uh, a timeline of everything that you've done and you can actually then hit play later on you'll be able to go back to the beginning and you can hit play and you'll be able to see your model basically being built in all of the stages that you've taken so there is our basic cube now if we want to do something else to this uh, we can go to sketch again and now we can actually begin to choose faces of the 3d object as the um, paper if you like that we are going to sketch on or it's uh, the sketching plane so if we were to choose let's say this side here and we go to look at now we're going to look at uh, that page that we've just chosen or that plane that we want to draw on and in this case we are now going to choose let's say a circle so now we're drawing on that face of the cube and if we want to draw a circle that is centered in the middle, you'll see we've got these nice um, snap tools. So this is the midpoint here. Uh, and this is also the midpoint of our other side. And where they intersect is obviously the center of our square. And we can place our center point there and drag out. And the same as before, we can now enter um, um, the diameter that we want our circle to be. So obviously if we made it 35, it's going to fill our cube so um, let's make it a little bit less if we let's say make it 34 so we'll have a one millimeter gap around the edge and we hit enter and there we have now have our 34 diameter circle drawn on the face of this cube so if we go to finish sketch we can now choose extrude and we can extrude this out also you can choose the distance again that you want to extrude it to so let's say we want to bring this out 10 millimeters and our operation is join in this instance we we could create a new body which would be a separate object um, but in this case if we choose join it's going to make it part of the main object that we already made and we go to ok so now we have this kind of shape going on here and we now have two sketches that we have done which again we can step back to our timeline back to the beginning and we can step through each individual task that we've done there's our sketch and then our endpoint 
So that's how our um, object here was constructed. And this can be found under our bodies menu here. And we can give this a name. We could call this um, interesting shape one, for example. And now if we want to make another one of these, that's exactly the same. We can go to copy and paste. And now we have a copy of that. And we can move it to be in another location, like so. So now we have a copy of our original shape and we could change this to be named, for example, interesting shape two. So now we have these two separate bodies. Uh, we could begin to add something else to one of them. So if we go to our shape number one and um, we select sketch again and we'll select a different face this time and maybe on this side we will create a different shape. So um, let's make some um, uh, let's make a, another circle on here or polygon. We'll go to a edge polygon. We'll look at our surface. And we'll start this polygon from this lower corner here. Now, uh, I want to be a specific um, number of millimeters from that edge. So we can create um, lines which will help us get to that point. So I want to be 45 degrees up and 10 millimeters. So we input 10 millimeters and we input 45 for our degrees and hit enter. Now we can go to our polygon and we'll start that at that corner. And we'll make it a three sided polygon. So basically, we're making a triangle. Uh, now we'll remove our construction line, we no longer need this. And we go to finish sketch, again extrude. Now this time, instead of extruding out, we're going to extrude inwards to our shape, like this. So now you see we get these red marks. So this basically means that now you'll see our default has not gone to join anymore, it's gone to cut. So this is cutting a shape into our original um, cube that we have there. So we can choose how deep we want this cut to be. We'll make it 10 millimeters, for example. And we can also choose the objects that we want to cut. So at the moment, there's only one intercepting object. So that's all we're going to cut. And if we go to OK, you'll see we now have a triangular cutout in our shape there. So that is uh, the basics of creating a shape from a sketch. Now that we haven't made anything particularly interesting here, um, but in future tutorials, if you check out my channel, we'll be looking at making some um, more complex objects and we'll actually go to um, doing a full project, modeling some interesting um, um, devices from zero all the way through to the end, step by step. Um, so if you found this tutorial video useful, please don't, subscribe, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, check out our uh, future videos on how to model using Autodesk Fusion 360.